It's Lucia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a Wednesday, so hump day. I have a lot of stuff I want to do in the apartment today. And we get a big order in from Ikea tomorrow, so I'm hoping that we're able to set all of that up this weekend because I've now been in the apartment, I guess just like a week and a half, but it feels like, okay, I'm ready for this to feel a bit more set up. Like I still have all the pictures on the ground and everything. The goal of this vlog is that by the end of it, it's pretty much completely set up, which is so exciting. If you're new here, I'm Lucia. I live in Chicago. I'm 23 and I make a new YouTube video every Tuesday So subscribe and I'm in the process of moving in Chicago I have a bunch of other moving vlogs that I've done and like apartment tours So go watch those if you want to catch up to where I am now and if I get everything done This is the last one and so far. I've really been loving living in Wicker It's such a peaceful area and I feel so much more at home and relaxed and living with my boyfriend is going really well too I will be doing a Q&A video pretty soon. So if you have any questions about like the moving process or just like my life in general in Chicago comment down below and I'll answer them in my Q&A video I'm gonna do a bit of work before I go on my daily walk Okay, little warning. This is gonna be a bit gross. If you guys remember, I had this whole bamboo theme in my bathroom in my old apartment. And the quality of this stuff, it's from Amazon. I like loved it, but I guess because the way that I have it getting so wet, it's, it's not really working out. I don't know. I'm just over it. My boyfriend doesn't like the bamboo. I think I'm gonna keep this organizer here, but I'm gonna swap out these bamboo things for different ones. I just hate all of this wood leaking. So let's clean this off. And I added these new ones i just think it looks a little bit nicer hopefully it'll be cleaner these are the ones that vicente had from his old apartment yay also i changed this is just a lulu align crop top with some lulu biker shirts i'm gonna go for a walk and then a yoga class now getting back from my yoga class it was so good i went to zen yoga garage it's in bucktown so a little bit of a walk but i passed it the other day it looked so cool and peaceful it's like a garage and it's a yoga bar class and it was heated which i didn't know and i really liked it i think i'll go back the only thing was that the instructor wasn't super welcoming like i thought she would have helped like correct my form a little bit more that was like a little bit disappointing but I overall really liked the class. It was a lot of like movements that I've kind of seen before, but not in that way. If that makes sense, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm curious to see what their other classes are like. So yeah, I feel like exploring the different boutique fitness options around here is really, really fun. It's another part of like getting settled. I really want to find a new workout routine here. And like, I love solid core and I really, really enjoy it, but I kind of want to like see what else is out there and then decide what type of class they want to do. In my apartment also has a gym and there's a Peloton in it. And I've never done like a Peloton bike before. And so I asked on Instagram people's recommendations and a lot of people love the instructor Cody. So I might mix that in there too. I'm gonna take a shower and then log back onto the work day. It's 5 p.m. Work is over. I have an event that I need to leave for at 6.15. It's actually a movie screening. I forget the exact title of the movie, but it's called Honk for Jesus, something like that. And I'm really excited. I've never been to a movie screening before. I get invited to them like a fair amount, but it just like never works out in my schedule. So I'm very, very excited. Did think I was gonna have more things organized by now, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna do a little speed clean of things, throw in a podcast, and then get ready. Now at 6.23, my event's at 6.45, so I need to get going. I'm gonna request a taxi. I've been using Perb. It's this app that basically, instead of booking Ubers, it books taxi cabs, so it's a little bit cheaper, and I really like it. This Uber to downtown is like $19, which isn't that bad. I think I'll get there right on time. I hate getting places. It's so stressful. In the meantime, I'll give you guys a little outfit check. I got ready so fast. <laughs> I need to find a better little spot to do these, but this is a dress from Express. Very unlike my usual style, but I was just feeling something like easy and something fun and a little statement and you know it's 75 degrees it's summer i might as well wear this dress while i can and then i just added these little heels from princess polly some typical gold jewelry and then this purse i'm really feeling like i need an elevated purse recently because this is from princess polly and it just it doesn't add to the outfit but that's okay we're gonna go <laughs> okay it's friday
Friday, we got our IKEA shipment in. I'll link down below what we ordered, but we got a shoe bench, a coffee table, and what else did we get for Sunday? Oh, shelf. We got a shelf for like books and stuff. But Sunday's having some friends over, so we wanted to get the coffee table out before they come. So that'd be cool. So right now we're opening up the coffee table. I hope it's not hard to assemble. I don't know. I couldn't assemble the paper towel holder, so <laughs> this might be hard. Okay. This is looking good. Operation is not going as planned. IKEA wants us to have this very specific pointy tool that we don't have. And basically what we're trying to do is puncture the wood with the hole and it's not working. Said hole. But look, we made the foundation. We're doing some progress here. We did it. We got the screws in. Let's fucking go. I love it. I think it looks so good. The only thing is that we got like sticky stuff still in here. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get that off. It does not look good, but I love her. It looks so sleek. Ended up putting some decorations on it. Sente has all this vinyl, which looks so cool. We chose Best of Bread and Elvis to go on top. You can't stack them in like one big stack, which was originally what I wanted, but I honestly kind of like it like this. I think it looks cool because then it hurts the vinyl and it could make it break. And then this is just this random piece of driftwood that I got actually from my college room, but I still really like it. It was from Home Goods. Hey, we have one furniture completely done. My child, so monumental. Okay, Vicente left to go hang out with his friends. I'm making my signature quesadilla recipe. I feel like I'm consummating this apartment by making this. This is like my favorite recipe ever. And I'm just watching a Brooke Michio vlog and I'm so excited. I'm like so ready for food. The loud sound is my washer going. I'm washing something. Quesadillas are ready. I'm so excited. I love when they get like really crispy like that. I know you might be like, oh my God, that's gross. And I'm watching some Never Have I Ever. I love the show. Season three is already out. I feel like they've just been churning out this content and I'm obsessed with it. It's Saturday morning and Vicente just made the shoe rack. He did such a good job. Basically, it's a shoe rack bench so you can sit on it and we wanted to put it by the entryway so we could have extra space to store shoes but also like create a vibe where you can just like put your shoes on, sit down here right by the entryway and I really like how it turned out. And in a second, we're gonna put up this shelf thing that'll go over so it'll be like a full little entryway setup. It's now 4.25, we have dinner reservations at 4.45 so we're about to head out. We booked them because we're going to this opening of a cocktail place. I don't know, some event that I got invited to and it starts at seven and we're gonna get dinner before. So we got dinner at 4.45 and we're going to Coda di Volpe. Coda di Volpe. <laughs> and it's this Italian spot in Lakeview and they have gluten-free pasta. So I'm excited. And let me show you guys the outfit. The dress is from Princess Polly. I actually wore it on New Year's Eve and the shoes are also from Princess Polly. And then just the normal jewelry. All right, we're gonna call our Uber. Good morning, you guys. It's now Sunday. Last night was super duper fun. And today we're actually about to head out. It's pretty early. It's like 9 a.m. early for a Sunday. We're going to this beach cleanup thing, which I'm excited about. I've actually never done one of these, so I feel like it'll be fun to do that. But on the way back, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and hopefully set up more stuff today. Things are looking good. I love waking up to a new furniture piece shoe bench back there, but it's still a little messy everywhere, so we got some stuff to do. <laughs> okay, we have some exciting updates for you guys. First is the entryway. We got this hook thing up here that I think I unboxed for you guys in the last video and we finally got her up. It just fits like our keys, my little Lululemon bag fits there, any envelopes that we have. I love it. And then over here, Vicente assembled our bookshelf. So, so thankful for him because I, <laughs> I hate doing these types of things. The only issue is that he accidentally got this piece right here facing the wrong way so you can see the wood. So I think I'm gonna, for now, just draw over it in Sharpie or like paint over it in black, but I don't have black paint right now just so it's not as much of an eyesore. We don't have enough books to fill everything, but it's so good to just like have something to place something. We just put a few little decorations above and we're gonna hang up a calendar above there too. So we have all of our household <laughs> events, I guess. And I also just got some packages in. So let's open up these. I unboxed all of this. This first one is a little cart to use for laundry stuff. So it's really, really slim. These are some storage bins that I don't have an exact plan of where I'm gonna use them yet, but I know that they will be usable somewhere. So I'm just going to kind of figure that out as I need. No, I'm going to use some of them under the kitchen sink and some of them under the bathroom sink. So I'm excited about these. I was expecting a few more things though in the packages. So I'm going to go back down to the mailroom and investigate. I hope they're there. I couldn't find those packages, which is very frustrating. So I emailed
emailed our property manager and hopefully I'll find out more about where they are. I'm hoping that they weren't stolen or taken or anything and that I just can't see them. But that's frustrating because there were more organizers that I wanted to use tonight to do stuff with, but it's okay. Minor setback. We still got this. I think I'm going to do the kitchen sink first. Got this kitchen thing organized, I feel like. Basically, I just put the dishwasher stuff up here. It fits really perfectly right in that little crack. And then this is a dustpan. And then I just have some cleaning stuff on the bottom. And then the stuff I don't use, I just put in the very back. And I feel like this makes it a little bit more organized and easy to see everything. Okay, I ended up getting a lot of organizing done, which is really, really good. I'm feeling okay about the status of the apartment. It's definitely not as far along as I wanted it to be. I'm going on vacation actually. And my goal was to have all of the apartment stuff done before leaving on vacation. And that's just not gonna happen, but it's okay. So there'll be a lot more apartment updates to come. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated just in my weekly vlogs that I post. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And my next video on next Tuesday is actually gonna be a Q and A. If you have any questions that you want me to answer in that video, just comment them down below. I'm excited to answer all of your questions. It can be about anything. It can be about moving, living in Chicago, moving with my boyfriend, celiac disease, being gluten-free, really anything. Favorite fashion items. It can be something serious, something really just fun, like literally whatever you want. I've never done one of these videos, so I'm really excited. And I feel like it'll just be a good opportunity for us to get to know each other a little better. So I think it's gonna be really fun. And I will see you guys next week for that. Bye.